Early in the morning on Boxing Day 2004, about 150 kilometers off the western coast of the island of Sumatra, the third biggest recorded earthquake that measured approximately 9.2 on the Richter scale struck. Towns and cities were destroyed within half an hour. As the tsunami spread out across the Indian Ocean, it lay havoc in places such as Thailand, Sri Lanka, India and the Maldives. The wave even hit as far as Africa's east coast. Most of these places were hit hours after the earthquake struck, yet there was little warning. Hundreds of thousands of people needlessly died. Furthermore, it caused incalculable amounts of damage, disease and hunger to already poor communities. In 2005, the UN met in Kyoto and it was decided that the damage done by the tsunami was unacceptable and resolved to create an Indian Ocean tsunami warning system. Tsunamis occur when some kind of event displaces a lot of water. This can be caused from things like earthquakes, landslides, volcanoes or collapsing glaciers. The earthquake that caused the Boxing Day tsunami was caused by the Indian tectonic plate subducting underneath the Burma plate. It was huge, occurring over 10 minutes. The tsunami displaced about 30 cubic kilometers of water. In the deep ocean, this displacement is small and over long wavelengths, so it's not easily detectable. However, as the tsunami reaches the shore, the huge amount of energy produces extremely strong waves that can reach over 10 minutes high and wash far inland. The tsunami warning system first uses seismometers to detect when and where an earthquake occurs. If the earthquake is large, then computers will model what kind of pressure changes and waves to look out for. On the ocean floor, tsunami meters pick up small changes in pressure and buoys detect wave size on the surface. The tsunami meters and buoys communicate through the use of satellite that communicate with disaster centers. If the readings from the tsunami meter and buoys match with the modeling, then a tsunami warning will be sent out. When a tsunami is detected, a warning is sent out to the areas in danger. This can come in forms like TV, radio, SMS, and sirens. People must know what to do and act calmly. In coastal areas, there are often signs to evacuation areas, or advising people to get at least 30 metres above sea level. Furthermore, education campaigns are important so people know what to do as soon as they hear a warning and what to look out for, such as strong shaking and strange ocean activity. With the help from all countries involved, we can hopefully avoid such disasters as the one seen on Boxing Day 2004 again.